Jake made a pie out of peaches. He really wants people to eat it. And that's usually how people think of harvesting. You have food that you've grown all summer. You pluck it from the tree or out of the ground, and then you eat it. But we tend to think of harvest in a broader sense when we do programs at the Botanic Gardens. So rather than fresh baked goods or fresh food that we pulled from our gardens, we're gonna talk about some other things that we can do with different plant parts. So if you want a living thing to grow in a garden, you need to plant a seed. And whatever that seed is, if it has air, food, water, and a home, whether that's a pot or a garden plot, it will start to send down its roots. And there's two types of roots that tend to grow with garden plants. There's tap roots, like a carrot, or there are fibrous roots. And fibrous roots tend to be what we have in trees. And this is the base of a sunflower plant. And we've taken all of these tap roots and we've turned them upside down with its stem. And we've added the world's most handsomest face for a harvest decoration. Once the roots are in the ground, whether they're fibrous root or a tap root, then the stem starts to grow. And you can think of the stem as the trunk of a tree, not the trunk of an elephant, <laughs> but the trunk of a tree or the stalk of a sunflower. And as that stem grows, then the leaves start to hold off. And with these leaves of this grass that got touched with frost, we've made a broom, which is a really good decoration if you're having a wedding. So you wanna sweep away the past and jump over it. Or if you know somebody in your life who you'd like to compliment for their witchy ways. But as the leaves grow, then the pretty part of the plant starts to grow. And you can say you've harvested a bouquet of flowers. And with these flowers, after they're done growing, the very last part of the plant starts to grow. And it also starts with an F. So we have our seed, our root, our stem, our leaves, our flower. And that last part of the plant is the fruit. And so this little tiny pumpkin, its whole job, the whole job of any fruit is to hold on to the next living thing, to hold on to the babies. It's to hold on to the seeds so it can start that life cycle all over again. If a growing plant doesn't produce a fruit, there's another part that grows and it's a cone. But its whole job as well is to hold on to the next living things, the seeds. Not all brooms that you might harvest from the garden and assemble for the fall season have been flight tested, but I think this one might have the opportunity to fly across the room, so we're just gonna see if it'll fly or not. <laughs> 